Okay, so now we're going to look at, now that we know, okay, so we know how to make a hash, right? And we know that hash looks a lot like a private key, so we're going to use that hash as a private key in a key pair. And uh, we're going to actually use that account. We're going to do some accounty type stuff. So, so normally with the hash and the key pair, those are the first two things we've learned. These are basic building blocks that we're going to use all over the place. But then I'm going to kind of get a little weird with it, and then we'll come back. There's there's certain things that I'm just going to kind of skip over here, like gas and ledgers and stuff that we don't want to mess with right now. I want to I want to kind of have the the cool programmable money magic moment. So, so the first thing we need to do is come up with an account. Now, normally I would probably use a password or something more like a seed phrase or even like a mnemonic here, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're going to be friends, and I'm just going to throw throw this up uh, straight up public. So, bow tie Friday is going to be the text that I'm going to feed into a hash that's going to give me this. But guess what? I'm going to use that as my private key. Okay, so if you type in Bowtie Friday into a hash and you get this and you use that as your private key, this is what your Ethereum address will look like. And let's just make that look a little bit prettier. Let's feed it into here, get a nice little, uh, you know, a little blocky and have a nice little copy paste thing. Okay, so now this is just a key pair. It doesn't particularly match up with any particular blockchain. And again, if you're like, I don't know what a blockchain is, don't worry about it. We're just doing some cool stuff here. Stay, stay with me for a moment. What we're going to do is we're going to go talk to a side chain instead of using the uh, main chain because it's just um, it's easier. We don't have to worry about gas and there, there's a few other things that are just kind of nicer about it for now. But when we start moving big money, we'll, we'll go to the main net for sure. Okay, cool. So what I want to do is I want to know how much money Bowtie Friday owns. So we'll just call Bowtie Friday as this dude. Uh, it, you know, it's the hash to get the key pair. If anybody could guess Bowtie Friday, they could steal all my money. It, like, if you've watched the hash and the key pair videos, you should know everything you need to know about this. Now let's see how much money is on this key pair, right? So what we want to do is we want to get the balance. And normally this is talking to the mainnet. So this is talking to the Ethereum mainnet. I can see that my balance is zero, okay? What we're gonna do is I'm gonna plug a different blockchain in and uh, the, the side chain I'm gonna use here is dai.poa.network. So it's the same that I use for the burner wallet and a, a lot of other of my fun little games. It's a permission or a, a authority type uh, side chain, quick transactions, cheap transactions. Uh, I, I don't want to get too far into the weeds with it, but it's it's like an exact copy of Ethereum, just cheaper and faster and less secure. Okay, so what is our balance out on uh, out on XDAI? It's called XDAI. Uh, zero, still zero. Okay, let's fix that. Let's send some money to this dude. Okay, so how do you send money? Well, you'll need this person's QR code. So we'll grab this guy's address and we'll plug it into a QR code. Now, if you've used a burner wallet or any of my other stuff, you know that this QR code is good enough that I can pull up my burner wallet here and I can scan this address and then I will put... There, there's a lot of stuff I'm gleaning over here, but basically I'm going to sign a thing on my phone. I'm going to sign a thing that says I send a certain amount of money to this address and I'm gonna put it out uh, on on the blockchain and it's gonna be mined and we'll cover all this stuff later but basically I'm gonna send money to this guy without any kind of central figure controlling it it's basically just the miners of the network it's a completely decentralized come on baby okay now let's check this there it is look at that we got money we just sent money without Wells Fargo or any kind of central authority. We just dropped these boxes in and typed in Bowtie Friday, right? Okay, so, and, and what we've got going on here is like one of the first first blockchain lessons that we need to learn. We need to um, move that from way. And then it'll be in dollars. So we can plug that in, 
check it out. We got 25 cents. Okay, so that is basically what it took to receive money. I generated an account using using this text, which gave me a private key. Then we derived a public key, and then we sent some money to that public key. So, so this is this is kind of step one. So step two would be sending money out of here, right? And that's going to get a little stranger. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Uh, you can uh, at any time uh, open this up by just following this link. Like for instance, if I just paste this link in, I'll probably put it in the, the video or something like that. If you paste this video in, you should get basically this setup. Okay, cool. So now let's, let's send a transaction. Okay, that's going to be a little trickier. What we'll need, let's let's see what we have here. So, like I said, we're going to ignore a lot of things here, like the gas and the nonce and stuff like that. Let's just think about this as I'm sending money from this dude, and we'll plug his private key in, and we'll send it to who are we gonna send it to? Oh, we need someone to send it to. Uh uh, oh, you know what would be rad if I could just type in austingriffith.eth here and it would work? Okay, ENS, put that on the to-do list. Doesn't work yet. Okay, let's go grab, what do we have here? I need an address from somewhere. Okay, grabbing, uh, grabbing. Holy moly, this is slow. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> grabbing an address. Okay, so we're going to need a to address. We're going to need a value to send, which will just basically be a number. But remember from way, this is this is a trick we're going to need. Oops, get out of here. Uh, way two way, right? So you go from way and two way. And the reason is that you don't, there's no, um, there's no decimals. So any number needs to be divided and multiplied by a really large number. So like if we see this, our balance is 25, it's like what times 10 to the 16 probably or something like that, right? But it allows you to have like these decimals. Like the, any any token usually has about 18 decimals. Okay, so I'm going to send 10 cents to this dude. This is just another uh, another account that was generated. This is actually my MetaMask account, but it's generated in tech generates a private key and the private key is used to derive the public key and that's this key here and actually this is austingriffith.eth uh, we'll, we'll figure that out uh, in a later episode but we've got our from which is our private key plugged in we've got our to which is that guy and we've got our value which comes out to look like that great big number uh, even though we're sending 10 cents we'll send no data no gas no nuns we won't worry about any of this other stuff uh, let's go ahead and sign this transaction. Okay, so actually we could look at the object too. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's check this object out. Cool, cool. So it looks like it's filled in the gas and the nonce for us. We'll get to that later. But it has a two and it has a value. And then we're going to use our private key and we're going to sign that. And by signing it, it gives us this big old string. Big ol' string. Now, this, this can be public. This is actually the thing that we broadcast. So now we actually have to broadcast it. So we have the signed string, but it hasn't gone anywhere. You'll hear, you hear, you'll hear about people using like air-gapped laptops. So basically I could have this laptop that's not on the internet or anything that does kind of this beginning stuff, right? Get, get, get to the point where I have a private key, use that private key to sign some information, and then get just pull just that, this string out and pull just that out and send that, you know, on a USB stick or something like that. And therefore the private key never leaves that air gap, gapped machine. But we're a little bit more raw here. I mean, my password is in plain text right here for, for anyone to steal. Uh, so now we have a signed uh, transaction ready to go to the network. So uh, then we'll bring in the send TX. And so he's gonna wanna know what blockchain we're on. And he's gonna wanna have the signed transaction and then he's going to spit out um, a hash when he's done and he's ready for us to send him okay here we go are you ready here we go uh let's see we're going to want to let's let's check our balance it's still 25 cents okay we're going to hit send so now that has been sent to the network we've received back a hash that lets us know if we wanted to we could we could track that transaction 
and then it goes into the pool and the miners all look at it and then the miners uh, do this proof of work thing that we'll work on a little later and basically they mine a block and that transaction goes onto the blockchain and everyone recognizes it and if I click this we should see that my money has gone down Boop, 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 boop. All right, so basically with some building blocks, we created an account. We sent that account some money. Then we use that account to sign its first transaction and we shipped that to the blockchain and we sent money. Programmable money. Bum, 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 bum. Now it's gonna get way cooler than this. We're gonna do all sorts of cool stuff with smart contracts and uh, just, just some neat stuff. And I'm really excited about it, but this is kind of like step one. Gotta kind of cover this stuff first. All right, awesome, thanks. I'll have all of this up. You'll be able to just basically copy and paste and play around with this if you want. Check it out on eth.build, uh, at eth.build. I'm Austin Griffith. Happy Bowtie Friday. Thank you.